Good morning. It is the 15th of summer, and that is the halfway point of the series. So we're going to do some sports watching today. So Star One Sports, we report now on today's match in the wrestling tournament. The second match of round one. I'm I'm bored. I'm so sorry. I, I, just, I just can't. I can't even do fake sports. So we're just going to talk to Potpourri. Hee <laughs> hee. So cute. And I don't think I had to give her anything because it doesn't matter because we're already maxed out and I can't give anything to my baby yet because my baby is not able to walk around on his own yet. So we'll get there when we get there. Um, hey, it's, are you there? Uh, I am. What can I do for you, Kai? Wow. Um, hey, it's uh, do you grow corn on your farm? How about selling me one? I do sell corn on my farm. I got some right over... Um... I got some corn right over... Just wait a second. I gotta go inside. I swear to goodness, if you leave while I'm getting corn, you're gonna be in for it. Kai, you're gonna be like, what's going on? I got a corn in here somewhere, don't I? I better have corn. I better have corn. I'm gonna be so upset if I don't. Corn? Um, it's a big lump with knobs. Are you telling me I don't have corn? I don't, I don't have a corn. This is why, this is why I save things, guys. Look at this. I ain't, I have, I was gonna say I ain't, oh. He 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 he. Corn. It's got the juice. I couldn't imagine a more beautiful thing. Here we go, Kai. I got it for you. Here you go. Huh, thanks. It looks delicious. Oh, uh, how much? 50G. Really? What a bargain. You're a nice guy. No, Kai. I want to give you another item. I want to give you... Uh, I lost my chance. You know what I never do? And I had a comment about this just the other day. I never ever check my mail. Oh. I haven't checked the mail in like over a game year. And I didn't get any. Now I know why. Because nobody talks to me. There you go. I'm going to give you a flower. I mean, I have them in my inventory, so I might as well. You know what I thought of? If you don't interact with your animal for a whole day, uh, the horse or the dog, I believe, they I think they lose affection for you. But whistling counts as interaction. So you could, in theory, just walk outside and whistle every day. And your animals will never lose affection for you, at least these ones. So that's an interesting tidbit. I don't know if I'm going to plant any more things ever again in my entire life, but you know, I'm definitely going to plant things. I thought it'd be kind of funny just to make my entire field grass for fall and just not have anything, but I want to see what the harvest sprites can get up to. So every day that you feed your cows, they get one affection. If they're outside, they get two affection. And if you talk to them, they get three. These are two different things. So if you feed them outside and talk to them, they get five affection every day. But if you only feed them inside, they get one affection a day. If you have them outside, they get two affection a day. But I saw something absolutely terrifying. So the numbers I'm just saying, right? Like three a day for talking. So talking to them is, if I feed them for a month, I could get the same effect by talking to them for 10 days. So, and not feeding them is bad, but leaving them outside in bad weather loses 120 affection. So that is the equivalent of talking to them every day and feeding them every day for an entire month. That's how long it would take to get that back. So you do not, under any circumstance, let your animals be trapped outside in bad weather because then you'll probably end up like me with all my animals not really liking me too much. And 
I'm on the third year. And things just aren't going very well for me. And I am not about it. So I gotta let the... I gotta try to talk to all these animals, because I want to make them like me. So, I believe 255 affection is probably max for the animals. Similar to the villagers. So talking to them every day for a month... Give me 30... No, 90. So I'd only have to talk to them every day for two months. If I did that, they'd be maxed out. Chickens? Chickens don't give a single cluck about you interacting with them. Picking them up does nothing. Only feeding them does anything. Pardon my bird French, but... I think in Friends of Mineral Town, I think picking them up matters, but in Back to Nature, it means nothing to a chicken. They don't care if you ever touch them. They just want food in their bowl, and they're happy. Oh, these are not watered. So we're gonna go plant some more grass, because I want to get that done. Which means we have to go around first and chop all these. We're gonna get these today. This is all this is all happening today. This all this side, that's gonna be done. Like, we're we're in serious business now. So we're just gonna go and do this. To all of the unfilled tiles. And it's gonna be absolutely amazing when we get there. So I'm gonna check all those. I need to close all these off before I forget. Or I'm gonna accidentally not put a seed somewhere. There needs to be a seed. And we're all gonna be very sad. But today's the day. Hello, Martin. How are you enjoying the outside? Even though I can't stay up past 6 p.m. with you out here, but I guess that's just how it is. Now, they said if, if a wild dog barks at your cow or pet, they lose 10 affection every time. So that's like several days of interactions, right? But if you just go to bed, the dog never barks at your cow because you weren't there to... You know, if a dog barks at... Okay, a dog barks at your cow, but you weren't around to hear it, does it make a sound? That's what I'm asking. Like, if you're not here then essentially the dog doesn't exist because this is a simulation. So, you should just be able to go to sleep unless they simulate the dog running around for an hour. But I don't think that's the case because you could just go to bed before the dog shows up and they never lose affection that way. Because there's no way for you to have known that the dog was coming or the dog was ever there. So all this grass is planted. Like this is... This is really coming along. Oh, I gotta waste a bunch to do the edges. I actually was thinking about putting a fence up anyway again, even though I just talked about how I don't want a fence. Because the fence just gets nasty. I could just fill it in all the way. I don't know what I'm doing. Do I want to have a fence or not? That's, that's the trick. Because I could put a fence all the way around the field. Because I've had different ideas of things I wanted to do. But I already planted all this grass. Wasn't there something weird I figured out about over here that I don't remember anymore? And why is there nothing here? And I have another issue that I want to mention to somebody. There's a lot of empty space over here. Like, a lot of empty space. Were they planning on putting something here? Also, this spot right here has a different colored ground texture, which makes me think that something was supposed to go on top of it, like a second well or something, which would have been really cool. What am I talking about with, do I want to put all this grass down or not? Because I could just fence it all in around the outside and just have a giant farm field, which actually is something I thought about, which might be fun. Because you'd lose, I don't even think I like how this is, but I'm going to keep it like this for now. Because you could, mm, I could, I don't know what I was thinking when I did it like this, because let's look at this. So. I'm on the third tile. I don't have any soap. Go back over here. Third tile. I fully charge my watering can and I throw it out, right? So now this is watered and these two are watered. Skip, skip, go here, right? So I fully charge it 
and then I throw it out. This is watered, this is watered. Why did I, in any situation, measure it in such a way that I don't have... Oh, hey, Zach. I'm... I got really distracted. That I should have had it set up so it's only two. Does that make sense? Like, why do I have it... Why aren't these, like, 15 long? Because then I wouldn't have to do an extra, like, piddly one at the end. Like, why did I think that was a good idea? And I did that as, like, an entire thing. Three, six, nine. Or, yeah, three, six, nine. Okay, that, that makes sense for this, but they, they need to be at least 15. And the entire map is 25 tall. So if I took six off of, fifth, of that, it'd only be 19. So that's not good either. I think I need to do it in a different direction. So I want to do... I think I'm going to do 15 across. So that'd be 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Five bags of seeds across. And then that'd be... And the whole field is 45 across. So, if we take that, and I don't know what I'm trying to say. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do this really quickly. I can, I can regret later. That's 500G, that's 1000G. It doesn't matter. What is the money for? Than to have fun experimenting with garden layouts. I can cut it out later. You know, I can... It's going to be really hard to math out when it's all grass, though. Like, I'm not going to be able to tell. I guess I can cut the grass to make a pattern. But that's like a one... A one-stop shop. Oh, it's 8.30. I need to get out of here before the wild dogs come. We got everything grown. If I go into a building, the wild dogs will show up. We're going to talk more about this later. We're not done. We are not done here. Like, I, I'm still, I'm still in ranting mode. In fact, I'm so not done that I'm not done. I'm, I'm, I don't know what that means. Good night, everyone. I'll see you in the morning.